Have you ever made the mistake to just hit the print button for a new 3D print file and then after printing realized that the size doesn't match your expectation? In this video I will show you what I do before printing to avoid this by using the free program mesh mixer and the web tool from Senix 3D that can do the calculations for you. In this image of a Joker STL file from the Berserk Patreon you can see different scales from life size or 1 to 1 all the way down to 1 10 scale or 10 times smaller than the real life version. And I will now show you how you can check if the model you are about to print is over or underscaled to make sure it fits to your collection. The first thing I would do is I would go to Google and check for the real life height of the character I want to print. Which in this case is 6 foot or 180 centimeters. With having the real life or 1 to 1 height, all we need to do now is divide it with the scale we want to have. If we want to end up in 1 6 scale, we need to divide the height by 6 and now know the statue should be 30 centimeters tall. Now let's jump into Mesh Mixer to check the size of this model. The first step after opening the program is to import the files by hitting the import button and going to the directory where you have your files. You can import all of them at once. And then you might have luck and the figure is assembled in the right way. Or all the parts are centered to the origin of the coordinate system, as you can see it here. So now we need to align the parts correctly. For that go to edit and then transform. Then you can left click a part to select it and use the arrows in X, Y and Z direction to move the parts. In this case it was easy since I only needed to move them in Y direction. When that is done, you can see the full statue and its size with my Elegu Saturn print volume as a reference. On the right hand side, you have the object browser where you can see all the parts in the list. How do we check the height now? With all the body parts being selected, you can see that the statue is 34 centimeters tall. Multiplying this by 6 means that the sculptor has gone for a 204 centimeters tall joker in real life size. To change the value we can directly go into the size y field and change it. Just make sure to have uniform scaling enabled so all axes are changed. There can be one trap when you are looking at the size like this, keys. For this model the female key is in the shoes, so no issue here. If the male key would be in the shoes, this could falsify your scaling, since the key would make your model look bigger than it really is. What you can do in this case, go to the Mesh Mix tab and click and drag a cylinder onto the base. Then transform the cylinder to the height you want to have, so in this case 300 mm in Y direction. And then you can scale the model with the bar as a reference. Here I changed joker size to the 300 mm that we calculated. Now we need to copy paste the scale factor of 88% or 0.88 to the base. And now Joker is properly scaled in a 1.6 ratio to 180 centimeters. Then you can go to File, Export and export all the scale files. Or you write down the scale factor and do the scaling in your slicer program. What I always do when I don't print at 100% is to write down the scaling factor in a text note in case I need to reprint something later. What I also like to do is to open a statue that I have already printed. For that we remove the reference bar and open Mr. Freeze. After aligning him with Joker you can see that the sizes match pretty good. Mr. Freeze is a bit taller, which makes sense looking at those boots. If we change the size of Joker back to the original size, he looks a bit too big for me. Especially if you compare the head sizes, which also is a good indicator to check if the scale fits. Now let's quickly tackle the last question of how to go from one scale to another, assuming the original scale is correct. Let's say we want to enlarge a 1 6 scale model to a quarter scale model. So a model that originally is 6 times smaller than the real life version shall now only be 4 times smaller. That means we need to multiply the current height with the current scale, so with 6 for this example, to get to real life size. And then divide it by 4 to go to 1 fourth scale. And 6 divided by 4 is a scaling factor of 1.5 or 150%. 
or the other way around from quarter scale to six scale we need to multiply by four and divide by six which gives a scaling factor of 0.67 or 67 percent which you can set in mesh mixer or directly in your slicer program one extra tip if you don't want to pull out the calculator yourself Senix 3d provides a scaling converter that does the calculation for you if we stick to our example for choker's height we can for example convert the 180 centimeters in 1 to 1 scale down to 1 6 scale in centimeters which gives us a target height of 30 centimeters so exactly the same that we calculated in the step before or you can also get the percentage that you need to set in your slicer program to go from one scale to another if we say the original model is 1 6 scale and we want to go to 1 4th scale we again end up at 150 percent or vice versa at 67 percent and with that you should have everything you need to check your models and get them to the correct size before you get an unpleasant surprise after printing in the next video i will show you what i usually do in the following step which is adding pockets for magnets to the model which is way easier before than after printing so make sure to be subscribed and activate the bell and let me know how you scale your models